Platinum's. Hello. Platinum Club, number one. <laughs> Welcome to the Platinum Club. Come in, have a seat. We don't have any seats um, because of budget constraints, but welcome. So this is the first episode of Platinum Club. And uh, as you can tell, we're kind of figuring out the format as this is the first one. But uh, essentially, if you're new to this idea, we uh, are going to be selecting the game every month, uh, kind of a Platinum certified recommendation for everyone to play and enjoy and hopefully platinum. So the first game we selected was Bully or Canis Canem Edit, uh, kind of a classic mid 2000s rock star game. We thought it would, it was just a good first choice, you know, kind of um, a, a, a formula that people are very familiar with, but it's a franchise, maybe some a franchise, uh, a sing a sole entry in the Bully franchise. Um, yes, yeah, so we thought it was maybe a game that maybe was overlooked or a bit of a cult game by Rockstar standards. So we went with it. So we kind of have everyone's thoughts here. So if we miss anyone's thoughts, sorry about that. There's a few to get through. <laughs> but uh, yeah. so Dan, you hadn't played Bully on uh, with trophies anyway. So uh, before we kind of jump into what everyone else thought, uh, what what are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, I, I had a great time with the game, I have to say. Um, more so than I thought I would, I think. Um, and that's no knock to bully or anything. It's more, you know, this... It's old. Like kind of, yeah, it's old. And, you know, the open world formula is, is something that I feel a little bit tired of. But in true Rockstar fashion, that was not a worry at all. Um, the world felt alive. Uh, the, the activities... The work, you know, just navigating everywhere on the skateboard or the bike. Like, it was just great fun. I really, really had a great time with this. I liked the story. I liked the gameplay. I liked the um, the balance between kind of, you know, like time management and things like that as well. I thought that that was really cool. Uh, the fact that, you know, you could skip school or you could go to class. Um and, and going to class was kind of always my first option because you always got like a really good upgrade by going to class. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think, you know, it, it's it's a typical Rockstar game. It kind of has it all. It's got that really high production value. It's got the uh, the great story mixed with kind of the innovative gameplay and missions. Very few missions felt the same, which is a, a huge thing for me when it comes to an open world. If the missions feel the samey all the time, you know, um, I think it's there was a, one, yeah. I think there was one stalking mission, you know, that, <laughs> which is like my least favorite type of mission. Yeah, but, like you need to keep a certain distance and, yeah. and tail them. The tail missions, the tail. I, yeah, I yeah. hate. <laughs> where like I, I remember in GTA Three, there was one where like if they'd get immediately suspicious if you like stop at a red light or just do nothing, and then uh, yeah. you just fail the mission. Um, yeah, no, I, I kind of mirror a lot of your thoughts. Now, I only played a little bit in the run-up um, to this, but I, I platted the game back in 2016, and I finished it on the PS2, like, multiple times. Back when I kind of would replay games, like, um, yeah. <laughs> when I had more time and, and less options uh, with games. Um, so I, I, I think it's kind of, um, you know, when you talk about the open world fatigue, it's strange that I find it's so fun, even just hopping back in for a few hours, like a couple of nights ago, because it's yeah. almost like going back to simpler time. Because while Absolutely. I feel like open world design and like the size of the maps have, you know, increased exponentially since Bully was first released, the hand holding has also become much more of a thing. So like, um, you know, I, I just always remember when I first played Bully and it's still hit me again when I was replaying it but you know when I'd be reading magazines and previews leading up to it like I just got the sense that the whole game was set in the school yeah um in a, in a way games were a bit more surprising back then because you weren't inundated with like gameplay trailers and teaser trailers for another teaser and a trailer for a teaser <laughs> um but I just remember at the end of chapter one when the gates just opened and I was like what and it doesn't yeah. it, just, it just it's a small like three second cutscene of just the gates opening but it doesn't even tell you yeah like nowadays that that mechanic of oh there's actually a whole town for you to explore it'll be this whole thing where you go around and like micromanage you is micromanages you through the the town to show you exactly what's there and everything will be marked 
And yeah. I, I just love that there was a genuine sense of exploration, even yeah. though the maps were a lot smaller. I, I still think that they're denser and like bully compared to like the gta games of like the ps2 era i did think that the time was kind of not as like populated especially like with the traffic and stuff yeah uh, compared to san andreas especially but um it still just felt more alive and there is like unique kind of time character models um which was a whole thing you know just distinctive pedestrians and um yeah, like I, I just love the mix of like the humor, like the the time management side, and I think not too many games are actually set in school. It's not. No. I think it's a very like okay, you've got like Until Dawn, where you, you know you've got teenagers in their thirties going on like ski retreats or whatever. But um, I I just think the actual setting of a school is just kind of underutilized. Yeah, and, I think um, prob- probably for, you know, the reasons why Bully was so controversial. You know, yeah, because... yeah, Jack Jack Thompson had a hard-on against it, in fairness. <laughs> um, you know, and even though the story is more about you defending people from bullies, more so than you being the, the bully yourself, um, well, there's elements of that. It, it, Jimmy jimmy deals he can in be sort of a bit gray. of a bully he can be yeah. a bit of a prick but we all can we all gray can. character yeah, he's a yeah, bit of a gray yeah. character morally yeah. ambiguous but um yeah. i just think it's a great game and it is it is a shame um that they never went back to it that it, it's like i i was going to say the series is on ice but i think it's it's all but it's it's dead cryogenically, cryogenically frozen fro- <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> just, just yeah. the sequel just frozen in a fridge at rockstar um so there was um, a script written for the second one i think um, i i think there is like pre-production and like yeah. you know preliminary art designs and all that kind of stuff like um it it's it is it is just a really strange thing to think about that you know it's like oh yeah a game set in school of course rocks are released something like that or you know like uh, when there is manhunt and um i know remedy developed max Payne, but it kind of it, it goes hand in hand most people are so associated with rockstar because they published it and you know midnight club and uh, the table tennis game that was awesome like the, it, it, it it's it's just back to a simpler time and a more experimental time in games. And uh, it's just really charming. Like, I, I love the soundtrack. I think a few people mentioned it in the Discord or, you know, yeah. the Clapton Club channel. But um, so yeah. we'll kind and of actually, start. I have to say, thinking about that as well, when you said it, the mini games were just so much fun. There was loads of them and each one of them was very different. Like I spent ages doing lawn mowing. <laughs> I thought that was great fun. Um, to the detriment of your own garden outside. No, um, yeah. yeah. Or just just the carnival setting. Yeah. I was going to talk Although about that ran like Oh rubbish. my god, it ran like dog shit. <laughs> like yeah. um I downloaded it onto the PS5 <laughs> and yeah. it still ran like dog shit. And I yeah. remember that was the first because when those ports were first released to the PS4, I'm like, oh my god, bully with trophies vice city gta3 trophies oh my god so i picked them up like day one yeah and i was shocked at the performance of the carnival now like it was so atmospheric and it was a really well designed you know location and games just don't do carnivals enough like i can and like it just it why not i mean like it's just a hotbed for like creative you know mini game things to make it feel organic and stuff but anyway yeah my performance um... was bad I might just say maybe some some of my negative points just before we get into everyone else's thoughts. Um, Go for it. I I thought um, definitely the game feels feels old. There's there's no question about that. The controls um, were a bit janky. Camera was a bit janky. Um, the graphics were were pretty rubbish considering that you know they have the scholarship edition on Steam when we easily should have had that you know along with the additional classes and stuff. Um, I don't think it's acceptable really to have a lesser version available when we can play a version that performs better. Yeah. Um, I think there's definitely some like questionable stuff that like would not make it into a game now. Um, you know, uh, yeah, it's definitely some stuff like that. I'm sure anyone who's played it will kind of know the missions and the the actions that I'm talking about, but um, definitely some kind of, some kind of is it ste- stuff. steel in the panties is it well that was definitely one of them yeah, yeah they- <laughs> especially giving it to that person that man um 
He's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it was a bit of a Wild West era, you know? It's funny how, like, that wasn't mentioned at all in regards to, like, the controversy surrounding it. Um, yeah, like, yeah. I think that things like that were just more accepted. And, like, as for, like, the controls and stuff, like, you know, when I, when I kind of recommend games that I, I love growing up to, like, younger people... I recommend them, but also say, look, it's probably not worth playing it, but I still think it's a, a great game. But, yeah. you know, I'm not <laughs> saying go and try to find, track down a PS1 or a PS2 to play these games. It's just I still think it's great. And if you do play it, I'm not going to act like you're going to have the same experience with it as I did back then. Yeah. But I yeah. think when I go back to these games, I think there is a readjustment period and i think it kind of takes longer than it did on the ps3 or even ps4 era like yeah. the, you know but i i do think that once you kind of play it long enough it, it's kind of like just getting back into like an old bicycle you know where like you, you eventually just uh get used to it and like re readjust um but like the camera control and the aiming, like the aiming was kind of notoriously bad on the PS2 generation in, in regards to Rockstar games. Like, yeah. you replay GTA 3, like I adore that game, but my God, like the shooting was bare bones. But you have to kind of take it as it was back yeah. then because, you know... Like, it was it, innovative at the time. Like, that was... It, it was edge, so innovative. You know? And like, you know, Bully, like yeah. I, I still think the charm, the design, the sheer amount of like... um just even clothing options, mini games, and all that kind of make up for its technical limitations. I think it was too yeah. creative for the time in which it released to kind of fully realize, uh, you know, just, just the scope of the the idea. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, like I, I think that would be my main negative. I I I just thought in terms of population density, it was quite low. So that kind of mm. break the immersion. Um, I felt like some of the clicks weren't utilized as well as others. Um, I would have liked in the story to see Jimmy just, you know, spend a bit more time. Um, kind of, kind of like smaller scale stuff. Like my, like my favorite mission is when, like, you know, things like when Jimmy saw the cheerleader cry. And he went and took down all those posters for, you know, just those small kind of like moments, but it kind of goes into like the greasers. Then as soon as it kind of goes into the town, it felt like it kind of lost its focus, but then it brought it back to like that, that, that final fight was great. Where like, it was, it was like one punch and it was yeah. over. Um, I, because, I, I remember going into that fight and I had so little health. And I was like, oh, I'm definitely going to die now. Mm -hmm. And I don't, yeah, you can get a hit in, which is great. I like um, that, you know, like the yeah. boss fight reflected, you know, the narrative that he is actually the person. Just a, yeah. Yeah. But um, um, the other thing that I didn't like was I always felt like I was getting busted by everyone. Oh, like that is. Yeah. Felt... Yeah. You mentioned that. Yeah. That's like everything you do, you're like yeah. constantly being chased. So you, it's, it's actually difficult to just enjoy the world because if you're out at night, Jimmy's going to pass out because he's, you know, a little child, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, that missed his nap time and he just passes out at 11 o'clock, which is the most unrealistic thing about the game because a teenager that's out at night is like 16, is 15, 16, like they're not going to pass out at 11 going, oh, yeah, yeah. Like that. And I, I played the whole game in my socks because I passed out once and then I was like too lazy to put on new shoes. <laughs> it's just like, oh, I don't care. I don't but care. that's the most but realistic then... thing. The other um, thing was, um, I thought that the trophies get like a little bit grindy towards the end. Um, there's some yeah. actions that are just a little bit unnecessarily grindy, but the trophy list was actually quite quite easy, especially for for a Rockstar game. So it, um, yeah, it, it could have been worse. It could have been could have worse. worse. Yeah, um, but overall, like I, you know, I think I remember it very very fondly back when I played it. You know, sixteen years ago or whatever. But um, now you've got the plat. Yeah. Well, yeah, and I really, really should, should we say welcome to the club when you get a plat or like you know? Um, mm, I think anyone is, is in the club already. Uh, everyone's you know? in the club, you know. Yeah, that, yeah, that'd be weird, like a book club if you finished it and you went, I'm in the club, and then you yeah, throw yeah. the book on the yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're in the you're in the club regardless of yeah. finishing or not. Everyone's in the already club. Um, so um, I'm going to start reading out some comments here uh, sure. of what yeah. uh, people thought of the game. So first I'm going to highlight is Lost NZ Kazakaja. Kazakaja? 
um, Kage, yeah. So he said, so this is one I bought out of drunken nostalgia in February, I believe. The, be- the best kind of nostalgia is drunken. Uh, really enjoyed it. Used to have to rent it as a kid so I could never finish it. It was one of my favorites <laughs> growing up. Here in New Zealand, it was also called Canis Canum Edit. Unpopular opinion, but I actually love the name. Dog eats dog in Latin. Platinum wise, it was a nice comprehensive list and I was happy not to have to get every collectible. Grinding money for clothes at the end was a tad annoying. That's what you were alluding to, Dan. Uh, only yeah. missable trophy uh, is if you use a cheat to unlock clothes, which is easy enough to avoid. I give the game 7.5 out of 10 and the plant a 6.5 out of 10 for enjoyment, mm-hmm. not difficulty. Um, yeah, like I, 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 I agree. Like it's a, it's a fairly comprehensive list. I do think it, there are one or two grindy, grindy things at the end. Um, I would probably give the game an 8.5 personally. Like if I had to yeah, put I think I'd be, number. I think I'd be over. I think it, it's definitely eight plus to me at least just, you know, but maybe context wise, I think if you played it now, maybe not, but like, I think it, it deserves an eight. And, and yeah. up, I, I would say um mm-hmm. yeah no, that's a, that's a great comment it's you know it's great to get uh, people's opinion who played it before um i think woolly said that it was a great uh, first pick as well just above that as well um mm-hmm. so some people coming in to this having played the game already and giving their opinion as well which is which is cool um beautiful torment there said bully's awesome um not a ton to know he was giving out some uh, some some good tr- trophy tips get the flowers out of the way and, and the kissing or, or out of the way early, which was something I did as well. I, I used that. Yeah. Um, get the so shift in early in the night. <laughs> <laughs> so some, some great stuff there. Um, some great tips. Yeah. So he also, um, I love that a uh, beautiful torment highlighted just how they handle the collectibles. You know, if you yeah, miss them, you can yeah. grab them later, but I just love the seasonal structure of the game. I think it gives yeah, such a flow yeah. and structure to the story. And just to have, you know, the Christmas decorations, Halloween, like Easter, it, like, it was just fantastic. And like so few games actually show the passage of time or have proper weather changes. Yeah, it's yeah. raining or it's snowing, but the snow never sticks on the ground, really. Um, um, someone someone mentions that later on, I think, in the in the chat, and they uh, kind of compare it to Animal Crossing, which I think is a great comparison. Yeah, <laughs> um, it's 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 true because that's the other game that really does that well. Um, I'm people sorry. excited to join in. That's cool. Um, I love. Uh, I think the discussion went on to Metal Gear here. Uh, it will be. It, it will be a game. Does. So like we're like just so everyone is uh, knows what the crack is, we probably will create just a separate channel um on the Discord just just for comments and thoughts, just to avoid this kind of scrolling next time. You know, like you live and learn, like this is the first time we're doing it. <laughs> um, and then we'll keep one open just for the active discussion um, with the people that are still playing it. Um, so we're just kind of trying to highlight f- complete finished thoughts here. Okay, that that that's kind of um what we're going for um i see pierce um c14 said he played about two hours he never owned the game uh but he played at loads of the friends house from what i've seen so far the writing is so typical rock star mid 2000s some sort of stuff you would hear in the gj game uh those are my favorite gj games so it's been decent decent pierce says um yeah it is like there was a certain style where like uh, like the before GTA 4, I think GTA 4 was like a real pivot in like a real serious tone for Rockstar. Yeah. Like they kind of dabbled in it, but it was really rooted in like the satire and kind of humor first and mm. foremost. And then I think with the reception to that in GTA 4, they kind of t- did another little pivot and kind of it's like, oh, look at Trevor. Oh, he's crazy. Oh, Jesus, he's mad. And um, yeah. So it is it, like yeah. I, I think the storytelling, Boris, as you said, some questionable things. I still think it holds up, and it's kind of uh, just endearing to see Rockstar kind of in their piss-taking element. Um, yeah, yeah. But That's true. Like the they... lunch lady was a great character. <laughs> oh, she's so rough. I think the yeah. roughest thing I've seen, and also I have to say, like the wedgie animation is the most violent thing I've seen in a video game. Yeah, like, yeah. Like worse than Call of Duty World of War, like when there was limbs flying everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So um, here's a let's see, Oban Oni Bona. 
Um, so first time playing Bully, always wanted to play it. You can feel the age of the game, but so far it's been fun. I'm impressed with how much you can do. I guess Rockstar games have always been filled with activities. I hope the grind in the end isn't too bad. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think even I was going to be too happy later on. Uh, Rockstar games have been fun to play, but, from, but uh, for my personal taste, they often ended up being too much for me. Red Dead Redemption 1 is the only story I finished in a Rockstar game. A Rockstar Platinum in my collection is a big dream of mine, and Bully might achieve that for me. Um, yeah, but I think, Bully, if, if you're going to finish like an open-world Rockstar game, bar GTA 3, I think it's like the shortest... Or if I said yeah. you can tear through it, I think I got the plat in like 14 hours, uh, but I finished it like 10 times. Um, yeah, I think it took me about like, it ended up taking me probably close to like 30 hours, I'd say, Bully. Yeah, you were telling me that I'm like, you said 20 hours, you bastard, it's close to 30. <laughs> yeah, it definitely took me longer than the, than the guide suggested, at least, but maybe I, I wasn't playing super optimally. I, I don't know. Um, I don't like, I don't think there is like a super optimized way of doing it maybe bar like skipping cutscenes and doing all the like tried and tested shortcuts but um maybe yeah, yeah yeah i think you just need to you just need to put your time in more on the more on the lawn um so uh let's see we'll flick on down on oh, someone installing the game the 10 seconds yeah. left <laughs> um i i like seeing all the the screenshots and stuff in fairness um so let's see uh, soundtrack got a few mentions here. Uh, right, yeah. ninety four. Uh, like that. That theme is legendary. Like it's like dun, 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 dun. It's, the music is, is and great, like the yeah. bike. There's like a bike bell in it or something. Every so often, yeah. it's it's like the perfect encapsulation of like mischief. That that that's yeah. just the way I think. It's just it's fantastic. Like innocent mischief. Um. So. Uh, yeah, I, I think that that's like something that's aged really, really well. Um, so open only Bona with another comment. Um, I won't read the whole thing because he says he's going to bed later in the comment. Um, <laughs> yeah, but it looks like a, a good kind of mid mid update. Uh, a mid update. So he plays the arcade scores and stuff. Like I remember that was that wasn't actually too bad. The arcade games and they're quite forgiving, thankfully. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff like you know the hundred ball kicks. You know it, that was just me literally kicking the ball against the wall. You know for a few minutes. You know, silly mm -hmm. things like that. Um. So uh, let's see. So I played a few hours today. I'm surprised by it. Uh, high in depth it is. A lot of thought went into it. There's a lot to do. However, I can't stand the frustration of having to wait until after a failed class or a failed mission. Ooh, it is not yeah. as comfortable as a newer game and it feels more like a time management game. The days are short. I feel like I have to play the game in small chunks to keep me interested. Uh, That's I am a very good point. Yeah, okay. I am still on chapter one and I don't know what uh, progresses the story. So far, I'm grinding some things for trophies, 25 kisses, flower <laughs> ball kicks all that kind of stuff. And my biggest concern is the trophy for the high score in RK games. That is not what I enjoy. I realize my thoughts sound very negative, but I am just a little frustrated. Uh, that's all. The game is fine, especially for its age. Sorry if I heard some feelings of this text. I don't think we're that sensitive. <laughs> you both. I'm just um, laughing because you said, I'm not going to read the whole thing. And then you read the whole thing. <laughs> I've essentially read the whole fucking thing. Um, <laughs> I mean, like, it is It is a fair point. I mean, like, you don't yeah, get all so. the benefits of a newer game when when, when you play an older game. Um, There's a lot of those kind of quality of life stuff. Like, no, it, it burned me once. I lost about an hour of progress because I forgot to save it and I turned it off thinking that oh, it was autosave. Um, yeah, yeah. Failing a mission, you know, like, I remember have, failing a mission. Having to do the and whole then, thing and make your way and, back yeah make your way back exactly like it, yeah. it's just like oh well you failed and you're still here sorry you know <laughs> um i failed the i failed the shop class about four times because the um the quick times were so precise and i was like what am i doing wrong you know yeah um, so but, some of the classes were so underdeveloped like the english class was was fantastic and uh, um i i kind of like the the art class it was like snake or something yeah <laughs> um, but then just the ones like uh chemistry was could have been so much better you know i always thought why didn't they have where like you're mixing chemicals you need to slowly tilt the analog sticks you know to mix them or they blow up or something you know like that, totally like cool, they were yeah. very uninspired um some of them um some of them, yeah. but i really enjoyed the english classes um 
But no, no, no hurt feelings here, Oban only no. Bona. Uh, I think it was that open with like beans, I think, in general. I don't know, some something. Um <laughs> so WCB. Uh first off, great intro music, very distinctive. Then you start running around, and that camera, oof. Oof. Yeah, big uh, oof. I can forgive it because it's an older tile, but I, I know I'm never gonna not notice it. <laughs> Otherwise, the cutscenes have me smirking, got that rock star vibe. I'm currently just knocked out some trophies like kick 100 balls, so I lay blah blah blah. Gave the hobo the first transistor. He seems like a cool character. Also done a few main missions in other classes. Um, so janky camera. Uh, the hobo character again probably great, wouldn't get yeah. pro- probably wouldn't get away with that now. Uh, no, either I don't you know, think a homeless so. character that lives on school grounds. I think they'll be like, yeah. <laughs> Just, <laughs> who teaches them like violent you know <laughs> military combat well, moves <laughs> does, doesn't he teach you like hit to kick them in the balls or something he teaches you all the the final whole yeah, square no, but, like, combo w- it's like <laughs> yeah but wasn't there one where like because you uh, is it like because i had i didn't do any of the training in ages but isn't it where, like you can just just the image of it where like you're just repeatedly beating up a homeless guy <laughs> and you and you can keep it going endlessly is it's quite a strong image yeah, um after tr- trading them some trash like <laughs> <laughs> not even food um, yeah it's not even um, <laughs> um, um cool so uh jordan's and, really enjoying it chapter two that um, thanks for all the comments guys i know it's a bit you know we'll we'll find you in the format but like really appreciate everyone actually like taking the time yeah, uh, to, no, it's, um, it's, it's great. So let's see. Oh, Vigilant Crow with a Vigilant comment seems interesting so far. I feel like I'm mowing grass more than actually making progress. So, <laughs> well, someone's yeah. been a naughty boy in the game. Yeah, um, I did a lot of shoveling snow. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Like I said, I didn't get caught too often. Yeah. Um, I was mainly uh, mowing lawns, in fairness. Actually, um, a really cool thing happened to me. I got caught and I got sent to the to the principal's office and he expelled me because it lined up with the the mission where you get expelled so even though i didn't start that mission because i got caught they started that mission and expelled me so like Ah. getting caught progressed the story and i was like that's cool i was like did i actually just get expelled like as a side activity but then it was like no if you get if you get caught during that time yeah 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 which is really cool. Like that's, oh, that's fair you know, again, cool. rock star attention to detail kind of stuff. Um, you know, I, I exoria. I really like the Rudolph sweater for the winter. It gives me Harry yeah. Potter snowy hot. And like the school is so cozy at Christmas. Like I've it got is, some yeah, yeah. some uh, photographs I took. You know, and you could take like a uh, screenshots in game, and it saves your memory card. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like the JPEG was like two KB, like um. Yeah. So uh, I have. Uh, it is. I, I I do actually. I didn't think of it, but there's definitely like Harry Potter Hogwarts vibes there. With Bullard, yeah, but... yeah. No, like it's great. Like it do, it did have such a charm to it. Um, Burge two nine <laughs> two one ninety there with the the man on the bench. Um, so he got the platinum, said it was decent, took me a bit longer than I thought by 25 hours. Uh, now I'm going to sit here and wait till the end of May until the next one denounced. Yeah, so sorry, sorry for keeping you waiting. We'll, we'll have it uh, pretty much. <laughs> That's out, what you out. get for being too fast. Yeah, you planted it <laughs> on the fifth. <laughs> you planted it in like a week. <laughs> too pro. Um, too pro. So, um, I see Vid back, uh, uh, I he's replying to my comment and we got the plan and he's like not started it either want to get the evil within either the way before I start and bully um, so he's looking forward to playing it uh, I just started uh, the evil within about a week ago so uh, I I hope I hope you got that that uh, that platinum uh, I think you did I think you did actually you probably did I feel like most <laughs> people it. yeah like if, um, if uh, someone <laughs> mentioned the frame rate issues PRC 14 um yeah the, did the there carnival well. ixoria mentioned it as we've already said oh is this the animal crossing from joel oh, yeah. h yeah, yeah, joel h, yeah. um and so, the same stuff yeah that's cool as well so, yeah so uh feels like my favorite series like yakuza and animal crossing the mi- yakuza because of the mini, mini games and beat them up and animal crossing uh, of the social sim stuff like seasonal events and timekeeping yeah kind of like harvest yeah. moon yeah for me it or like me of a that. western persona 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no yeah, yeah i can see yeah it's k- kind of true with like a bald-headed thug <laughs> um so uh halloween one was very cool and that's um there's actually like missable missions in halloween as well um you, you don't have to do all the pranks mm-hmm. um because i played it and i think i i think i got caught or I, I fell asleep or something and then i didn't get to do the last prank at halloween so then i reloaded it because i wanted to, to do it <laughs> yeah yeah just um, just so you don't miss it um so someone said it, yeah. um the a plank just said or a plank said damn gary's an asshole and he really really is he's one of the like genuinely most unlikable antagonists yeah. in games like up there with eric sparrow and tony hawks underground i know that's like a niche choice but he's, i actually he's think very like eric actually yeah, yeah no eric sparrow is more villainous than like the reapers in mass effect <laughs> like True. i yeah he's just so so unlikable um uh ross toya congrats on the plat woohoo nice woo. um Overall, I enjoyed the game, but uh, playing after I completed completed, <laughs> completed Bully Scholarship Edition back in 2014, I can say this version lacks content with the extra four classes, biology, math, music, and geography, and additional missions. Although Hobo Santa's missions weren't masterpieces, <laughs> they were still <laughs> enjoyable and provided decent dollars for clothing. Took me 18 hours to achieve the platinum. That was that's, pretty quick. Yeah, that's, yeah that, that's very, very quick. And you, we've already talked about it, you know, like why wasn't the scholarship edition released yeah uh you know if, if it was there but they probably wanted to keep consistency because scholarship edition was never released on ps2 it was only on xbox 360 so maybe they'd be like sense. look yeah. just just ps2 we're just gonna like we're just gonna um emulate they wouldn't them. have had the the licenses i suppose yeah that makes sense i didn't know that yeah um truth says he's been enjoying it a lot which is a major compliment because open world games are boring me nowadays so that's quite similar to yourself or like um because i'm definitely on like a open world kind of uh like regression or like i'm on the i'm on the uh the downswing a little bit um same so uh yeah um then Come along, you just joined the <laughs> no, uh, so gladiator penguin with the plant as well. Nice to nice. play a decade later, good palate cleanser till next month. Uh, well, we'll see what we pick for uh, the next one. You might not, palate uh... cleanser is a, is a good, it is a, good... a bit of a palate cleanser, isn't it? Yeah, like it feels like I think someone else mentioned that earlier that you know, you can kind of it's a good game to play in small bursts because you know. You can do like a day or a class or whatever. So yeah, I, I definitely can see that, that, you know, it's a nice game. It's it's kind of a relaxing game. It's a good like side project game. Yeah. Yeah. In time. fairness, um, I just kind of mentioned as well, you know, like the clicks in the game are like so wonderfully cliche, like they're over the top. Like Rockstar always leans into that where it's like, you know, the preps or the like super posh and, you know, the greasers and like the, the jocks and stuff. Um it's a uh, it's kind of endearing how cliche it is um so uh, <laughs> truth was getting a bit annoyed with the gel jealous johnny mission says whoever decided needs a kick in the johnson <laughs> <laughs> yeah i remember that mission um they um, didn't even kiss in this run for me fuck this mission um yeah like it's yeah so some uh, you were saying you know, like the tailing missions and like it, there is kind of like a archaic you know mission design uh, that kind of comes with the territory, though. Um, I saw Daza Fett there. You mentioned about using cheats as well, because um, that is an option. There's there's definitely cheats there that you can use. I mm-hmm. didn't use any myself, but it was more because you told me that it can kind of bug things out. So that's why I didn't. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've read that people have had success using the cheats as long as they don't, you know, use the the one them um, the clothes one that uh, that was mentioned earlier. Mm-hmm. there's the trophy associated with it uh rise and um, shine said the arcade games took me a, a while i remember except the sumo one um yeah like i i enjoyed the arcade games they're really well fleshed out they're like fun little little games within a game and a plank uh this was four kisses away from the platinum trophy uh, it's been a nice. great experience for me bully really feels like a rock star game but if they made like an indie GTA game, although I've never actually played this game before, I get a strange sense of nostalgia when I play it because it feels so much like a PS2 game. 
Yep, I'm glad glad you enjoyed it, Plank. Uh, yeah, an indie GTA game is a pretty apt description because it definitely it is, yeah. didn't have the budget or the scope. It was this, um, it, it was was it Rockstar uh, Montreal or it was it was a smaller Van- studio Vancouver, wasn't it? I think. Vancouver, yeah, it was a um, smaller Rockstar studio. Anyway, it wasn't. I, I love the intro to it. We know the Rockstar logo because yeah. I love that every Rockstar game had like a different take on the Rockstar logo. Yeah. A uh, little ping pong ball. Uh, so Daza Fett swooping in. Uh, not with the platinum just yet, according to this. Uh, yeah. Where he said he's on uh, chapter four. Um, then he got he, he came in a lot quicker there. Um, Raina didn't want to play it because there was no ultra rare trophies. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Oh, there, there is that of a platinum in the bag. So really nice. enjoyed the game after owning it for so long. So glad to finally get around to playing it. I do have one funny observation with it though. Why does every character in the game, when you give them something, look like <laughs> they then shove it up their ass? I think the answer is because they do. <laughs> that was such an animation on PS2, though. You know, like um, I I remember like when I was first played Vice City and just find it so fucking funny when you quickly would uh, go between the weapons in GTA and you saw like Tommy for Z. He was like, mini got like rocket launcher, just <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was Where going, <laughs> and then he just yeah. takes it out of nowhere. Um, so I think yeah. to answer the question, Daz, that they really do just shove it right up their holes as soon as you give them something, because <laughs> uh, that's what they think of Jimmy. Um, so da- Daz, if I'd also mentioned, wonder how many of Bully's recent players are from here. Um, hmm. that 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 actually be kind of funny. Like if it's uh, we want a commission rock star. Uh, yeah. This is a great uh platinum screenshot of uh, it looks like Jimmy if he was in the order eighteen eighty six. Yeah, someone um, said below uh, that it looks like a bloodborne esque. Yeah, 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 yeah. Use the bloodborne Even... cheat. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great photo. Really good. Um, so Joel H one two three four said he. Got the platinum, absolutely loved the game, and I'm glad the Plat Chums Club recommended it. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have played it. Uh, but that, that's kind of what we hope for with this, in fairness, just to recommend good games first and foremost. Um, and hopefully people enjoy them. We'll try to not always recommend games that are like over a decade old. Yeah. <laughs> um, if if we can. Uh so Cosmic Kitten. It started it. Um, then we'll just kind of scroll down, see. Uh, Pierce asked if we have an idea of the next game. We will say that later. Yeah. Um, Rise and Shine, just, just above him, said that he had played it all the way back on PS2. Um, yeah. So it's nice that it got trophies because he saw MGS on the PS3 with trophies. Uh, the Platinum's mostly easy and grindy, but. Uh, Getting trophies and possible plat as a bonus. Um, yes. So yeah, no. We got uh, the plat there earlier. Or yeah. Just after us. Yeah. In a week and a day, my god. Um, yes. but uh, an awful lot of people mentioned just like it is like I don't know if grindy is like the right word. Kind of irritating. <laughs> would yeah, be mine. It's, like it's just it's, unnecessary. Like it's you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like um, yeah. I think kind of like buying all the clothes and. You know, like having the the thousand, you can get the thousand dollars with the cheat in your wallet. Like, yeah. you know, I think an awful lot of people had kind of annoyance with that. Where like, there's very few like huge money making opportunities. So like, you kind of need to avoid spending your money just just to kind mm-hmm. of make it easy if you, if you don't want to use the, the cheats. Um. Yeah. So Bird said he liked it was good. You guys nailed the difficulty and length for the first game in the prestigious Platinum Club. I don't know what it prestigious. <laughs> um. Yeah. Appreciate Rapid the effort Rich you guys put before. into accessibility. Yeah, that, that's another thing. Like, we're pretty much going to be basing games. Like, we're never going to recommend a game that's, like, literally just released. Um, no, yeah. I, I, you know, it'll be always something on sale that's, you know, fairly cheap. Just so the yeah. maximum number of people can pick it up. Yeah. Um, he said he thought the story was great and some of the trust fund kids had lines that had me in stitches. <laughs> I would say the stories <laughs> age really well. And the themes are very much still relevant today. Would have liked to learn more about the parents in the background, but doubt we're getting a sequel now. Yeah, Burge, I think it's safe to say I don't think we're getting a sequel anytime soon. Well, actually, Um, it's a really interesting point. I think the story is, you know, like it definitely, 
it's still like relevant. It's, it's kind of a timeless story, but it was like right before the internet, you know, it was right before the emergence of like social media and like and accessible, and portable internet. Cause I feel like yeah, the portability yeah, exactly. is what changed the, the game. Like, um, yeah. like we, we live in, like, I, I suppose that was kind of like the kind of school, I suppose, like I never went to a, a private, you know, I definitely boarding didn't. school yeah 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 but you know it was definitely like the you know it was more akin to the kind of school I suppose that we were were used to growing up in and now you know things very different with the internet and, and you know kids just have a different kind of a different world you know yeah like they're not as bored <laughs> because they'll just go on their phone instead of throwing firecrackers down the toilet um so Joel just gave his final thoughts. Fun gameplay, the minigames, great music, funny characters, the dinner lady especially, and a decent trophy list. Wasn't too challenging. was only a little grindy. Uh, highlights, the paper on minigame, the boxing. The boxing was good fun. You know, I also like... I was like, bad at the boxing. <laughs> I, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, the art, the English classes, the greaser, the nerve missions, uh, and their highlight and the fun highest mission in the carnival. We'll give it a 9 out of 10. Only issue would be that the frame rate dropped dramatically. Uh, in certain areas which yes in fairness yeah. it was it was piss per the nerds um, hideout was was super epic <laughs> i liked i liked the interiors in the game were really cool they were yeah and quite distinctive um so pierce got the plat as well uh well done with the screenshot of egg and someone i think <laughs> or with the slingshot <laughs> Uh, it was trying to get trouble points, so I let the fire alarm off in the dorm and throw the fire crackers everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you already got oh, the yeah. fire uh, hamlet on there. That was um, actually that was the most grindy trophy, of course, was the trouble trouble points. points yeah, that, yeah, that, that, I, that I think that was the last one that popped for me. Yeah, um, yeah. And just just above, uh, Pierre said uh, one of the best parts of the game is the amount you can do in it, considering the limitations of a PS2 game. Some mm -hmm. of the mechanics are a bit dated. Um, says it took him 21 hours great game one i had in the backlog for a while yeah like that that's the thing though like even though there was the technical limitations i really felt like that they they squeezed a, a lot into it absolutely yeah um so um you can read like cosmic kitten when i have a cosmic sip of tea. sure <laughs> um, yeah i need a drink actually um just finish up the bowl my mouth is so dry <laughs> What an awesome way to start the Plat Club. Uh, I loved nearly everything about the game, especially the side content and characters really made me miss PS2 era Rockstar. Yeah, I think we can we can all agree with that. I think PS2 Rockstar was prime Rockstar. Yeah. Um, there's no question about that. Um, no, ab absolutely. Um, yeah, and, and there really is. The side content is, you know, what, what sets Rockstar open worlds apart from others. I think that's that's definitely very fair to say. Uh, Truth on the 26th of May said, I think my time with Bully is up for now. I'm super hooked on Super Meat Boy. And <laughs> for as good as Bully is, open world games do start to bore me. That, there is a lot of that going around. Man, it's contagious, this open it world is, yeah. syndrome. Um, I think it's fair. That being said, you know, he thinks it's fantastic. Um, and uh, But he says uh, he's, he's waiting on his super meat boy hype dying down i'd uh, be interested <laughs> to see how far you're getting on that uh, yeah, he's doing really this. well actually i know he's doing doesn't he's, surprise he's doing me really truth, awesome. truth seems like uh quite the gamer um so uh dino with kind of a really cool achievement my favorite rockstar game also happened to be the fourth fastest achiever wow awesome in really cool. 20 hours is it can't see you uh... 20 hours 18 minutes wow yeah that's that's a that's a fantastic time wow that's actually kind of nuts. you like you just know that zeus medingo <laughs> um must have just played that on one sitting um yeah i'm sure fairness. there's like you know there's probably ways to like optimize it by like not unlocking a trophy until you've kind of set up a lot of other trophies i know that that's a lot of people do that but um, um 20 hours like it's definitely doable 
it's just uh you know that was a great time well done um you know? <laughs> fit back of here being a right prick model student by day and by night the red ninja wedgie infringer <laughs> <laughs> yeah and that the skid mark name is just the worst <laughs> name possible <laughs> i i got i kind of want to put that in my trophy cabinet <laughs> just skid mark <laughs> the worst name me you could possibly think um, like, so yeah. fit back uh, obviously uh saying that a uh, really enjoyed my time with this game uh haven't had as much fun in a game uh, as i have dishing <laughs> <laughs> Still doing yeah. a lot. i think you have a beautiful beautiful problem there feedback uh a dad's effect with the um <laughs> red ninja with the trainers <laughs> nice nice for the platinum that is a fantastic platinum screenshot um that's fed also saying um about the cook was hilarious was awesome game didn't disappoint I still laugh the fact that every time you give someone an item, it looks like they then shoved it up their arse. You really had to think with this Tassa, didn't you? It was just an animation. I, I love it. Yeah. Um, I, I, I love the goal card, actually, as well. That you yeah, that right yeah. City. That was um, such a great unlock. Like, to, you know, it was so exciting when I realized, oh, wow, I'm getting the goal card now. That's so cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, because I think like... I think a big benefit to the small world was the the speed of traversal because like even though you didn't go very fast on the bike or the the skateboard, it it was the perfect size speed for the size. Of the yeah, map, like the mo the moped was cool as well. Like uh, you know, like the game was tiny, like the time map was tiny. It felt a lot bigger than it was, but um yeah. Yeah, but it had a lot of really kind of distinctive landmarks. I, I always loved the lighthouse and like when you could see at night the carnival lights, you know, kind of up against the lighthouse. Like it, it was a really cool area. Yeah, um, and my, my favorite location was that hidden beach with the pirate guy. That was that was cool. That, that <laughs> was that was fantastic. So uh, and just at the bottom here, post office buddy. Uh, I just finished it just as good as I remember it being back on PS2. The one complaint I had was the archaic camera. So I think uh, with the platinum in five years and 10 months. So you went back to, to finish it up. That's um, awesome. So I feel like the general consensus from everyone uh, from the platinum club for a bully is great game, really charming. Stories age pretty well. People find it funny, but yeah. uh, a lot of performance issues which really shouldn't be there i mean i think it ran better on the ps2 <laughs> yeah it um, absolutely definitely did yeah there's which no question is about that. bizarre um and kind of the camera and all those things that come with you know a, an old game um yeah so i'm glad that people seem to enjoy it more than they hated it yeah um, oh i think i think it was and it was great to see people um you know kind of say like oh it's been on my backlog and this kind of gave me the inspiration to play it because you know i love getting games cleared off my backlog it's great so you know if that if people can do that um as if they can use the platinum club as an excuse for that that's amazing yeah that's great so um guys thank you so much for um indulging this mad idea that is uh, <laughs> the platinum club uh yeah. we will uh be discussing i guess uh very very soon possibly after recording this just what game we're going to go with next yeah. um so stay tuned for that i'm not very good at these old outro things but um yeah. apologies if we missed anyone's comment I, I hope we didn't um but you know we we kind of definitely should have had a separate section and we'll do that's that on next us. time that's on us that's yeah. on us we'll we'll, we'll, we'll be sure. better We'll be better. We'll, be better. we'll, we'll learn yeah. from this. Yeah, we'll learn. No, we won't. We're too <laughs> stupid to learn. Do we ever learn? Yeah. No, we but never yeah. learn. Thank you, everyone. Um, and yeah, we look forward to the next Platinum Club discussion. Platinum.